Well, in an unexpected turn of events, the PGA Tour and European Tour have agreed to join forces with the Saudi-backed rival Live Golf. They're creating a commercial operation designed to unify professional golf around the world. As a part of the agreement, all sides are immediately dropping any pending lawsuits involving Live Golf. The agreement combines the tour's commercial business and rights with those of the public investment fund that includes Live Golf. But still to be determined is how players who defected to Live can return next year and what Live Golf will look like going forward. How are players reintegrated back into the system? If they are, I mean, again, we don't even know if they will be. I mean, it. it, it so, you know, that being one of the big talking points throughout this year and a half from the commissioner about how these guys will never play on the PGA Tour again. Now here's a look at some of the notable golfers who have joined Live Golf. Dustin Johnson, Patrick Reed, Phil Mickelson, Sergio Garcia, Brooks Kepka, Cameron Smith, Bubba Watson, and Bryson DeChambeau. PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan did answer questions about the decision to partner with Live Golf. He says that ultimately it was about looking at the bigger picture and that all of the tension just wasn't sustainable for the sport. And in terms of, you know, in terms of how did we get to this point and how did we go from, you know, a, a, a confrontation to now being partners, we just realized that uh, we were better off together uh, than we were fighting or apart. Monahan's, Monahan said the merger would take effect in 2024. He also said that the reinstatement of the players who joined Live Golf would be complicated, but it will be guided by PGA Tour rules and regulations. Stephanie. All right, Raina, thank you.